uh, president of Funday Tidal Inc. and involved in uh, several community investment funds around the province that focus on renewable energy. Tidal Power has, has a renewed interest in the province, uh, kicking off about five years ago with uh, a report that was done in North America that of course said the Bay of Funday was the largest tides in the world. Um, there are several key areas in the province. Uh, one is Minas Passage, where we're seeing a lot of media attention and large machines and large companies. And then there's these smaller targets uh, like Briar and Long Island and Digby County, which uh, are still large projects, but doable by a, a local community group. That's why we started uh, FTI up, uh, Fundy Tide Link, is so that the community can be a part and most things will stay in the community. My name's Jim Outhouse, I'm from Briar Island and I'm with Fundy Tidal Inc. We're a local company, uh, we've been involved with uh, Claire Machine Works and Fundy Tidal to develop uh, a system that is sort of outside of the box. Uh, most generators uh, deployed to date have been on the bottom. Uh, ours we expect will be floating, uh, we thought there were some maintenance uh, advantages there, um, but it's never been done before. My name's Dave Wilson, I'm with Bear River Plastics. We're involved with Fundy Tidal, uh, testing machines, uh, floating generators uh, for, uh, to develop the Fundy Tidal. In this case, we first found a Canadian machine made in Alberta, uh, designed for rivers, a new energy corporation. Uh, and it has to be customized to survive salt water and also bi-directional flow of, of a tidal current and so many different challenges so we're adapting an existing technology and what makes me happy is in that case it's a Canadian made uh, solution. The process starts with uh, information gained over 25 years of uh, floating different devices. Uh, um, that's sort of what you rely on. Um, it gets different when you start to generate power. Uh, the stresses are different, the strains are different, uh, and the flotation required is different. You have to have the right tool for the right uh, conditions and in the passages we have certain machines will work better in some areas and, and others and there's lots of factors there whether it's navigable waters where the fishermen already are so once you take away all the places you shouldn't or can't go you say we're trying to find a machine that will work right there. It's not theoretical, it's very specific to uh, and customize a solution that'll work. It's trial and error, but it's calculated and calculated on local wisdom. Um, you know, there are engineers involved, uh, but uh, fortunately enough for us, we're involved with uh, people that rely on local knowledge. Um, they take it into consideration. It's part of the plan. I sit on one of the ferries and, and uh, between Long and Briar Island, and, uh, and there's a resource of power there all the time, all the time. There's days where it doesn't blow, but there's not a day that I don't go in and out twice. By definition, uh, the Comfit allows rural manufacturers and rural knowledge into uh, this fundy tidal generation. It allows uh, companies that, or communities and companies that would never have the opportunity to get into this uh, a, a door is opened, a door has allowed us in, and uh, our knowledge and expertise is, uh, has allowed us to successfully test a generator. The, um, there's a lot of measurement of, of uh, a lot of uh, expensive equipment that goes in the water for both measuring the currents and profiling and putting that into computer for an engineering point, but also site analysis and resource assessment and some fancy stuff. How do these turbines interact with the water? How do they interact with each other? How do they interact with marine mammals and fish? Uh, so Acadia is very prominent in environmental research and studies and uh, mathematics and modeling and statistics and Dalhousie oceanographers are our team with the expert in the water and uh, measuring stuff so it's all part of the mix. The machine you see behind me is the five kilowatt machine that we successfully tested uh, this fall in the Grand Passage. Uh, the next stage for us is to uh, test or uh, deploy a 25 kilowatt machine which we'll be using the, the pontoons that you see here. Uh, the end result we hope will, uh, will be uh, a 250 kilowatt machine. Uh, so it'll give you some idea of the scale of what we do and uh, how we're going to achieve that. It's a community thing and that's what, you know, that's what really excites me is part of it is 
the community and what we can do for the community and what we can bring to the community of bringing in new people and new families and to work with us and as we as we grow and and uh, become a bigger company that means there's more people coming nice and slow and easy starting small and uh, and ending large hopefully is going to be the story of our success <laughs>